Samsung's new plant will produce the company's most advanced computer chips to date. KXN's Tara Rahman explains today's announcement comes as there's a major shortage of the microchip that most of us use every day. You can't get chips uh, to be put into cars, so uh, cars actually can't be assembled and produced. You can't even get Baby Yoda animatronic because of a shortage of chips. It's the same for many products at Austin MacWorks. We've had computers that we've ordered back in uh, May, um, early as July, that still have yet to be shipped to us. Last month, Apple said they lost $6 billion in potential sales due to a computer chip shortage, according to CNBC. Avery Jime says that's also the reason the company gave them for some delayed orders. There are dozens of microchips in everything from laptops to TVs to even your smartphone that you probably use every day. Retailers like this one are hoping that Samsung's new multi billion dollar chip making plant will help expand capacity. We in the U.S. only produce about 12 percent of semiconductor chips overall and almost zero percent of the leading edge ones. Samsung's new plan is expected to be fully operational by the end of 2025. Edward Anderson says he sees tailor-made chips making a difference in supply about a year after that. In the long run, it's a huge impact. Tahirah Rahman, KXAN News. Texas Senator John Cornyn authored the Chips for America Act last year to bring more chip production to the United States through measures like federal grants for building, expanding, or updating semiconductor plants here. The bill passed but is still awaiting funding. 